Over the last five years, we've featured cute puppies that make you smile, senior dogs that receive their forever homes, dogs that have ended up in Hope's care through heartbreaking loss, and those special dogs that just pull at your heartstrings. With all these stories, there is one reoccurring theme, hope. On May 3rd, I received a call from the uh, Alton Animal Control Officer. He was with the police department, the Alton Police Department, at a home where a dog had been reported abandoned, chained up in the backyard um, in serious condition. Uh, when Alton Police Department arrived on scene, they reached out to Alton Animal Control to uh, remove the dog. The dog was in very serious condition. Uh, she had open wounds everywhere. If you petted her, she bled. Uh, her collar that was leather was uh, embedded into her neck. Uh, she was very malnourished, very dehydrated. She was admitted into the hospital for two days uh, on IV fluids to hydrate her. While she was there, they cleaned all her wounds. Uh, they diagnosed her with a uh, uh, mange infection over 90% uh, of her body, which is very serious. Um, on top of the mange, she also had other skin infections that were uh, side effects of the mange. Um, and it took quite a while for Kim to, uh, to get her back up to par, but we named her Malou. Uh, and we named her Malou because that's a Hawaiian princess and she's a princess now. Once she was released from our vet, uh, she came here. And because of the nature of her wounds and things, we chose to have her stay in the house with us. The slightest touch would make her skin bleed. So we started her on some medications. Um, she was also getting uh, daily body rubs because her whole body was affected. She kind of liked those body rubs. And then um, she would get baths once a week. It was a medicated bath to help with it. Her most affected area was really her head. That really was had more sores, more open wounds, and that type of thing. Um, other than that, it was a whole lot of personal care. She was very, very sweet, but she was unsure. I think she'd been neglected for a long time. And it amazes me to look through the pictures. When she comes, she doesn't smile. She's very sweet, but she doesn't smile. And usually it was about, I believe, one to two weeks into it that she actually started smiling like she knew she was going to be good. And it was amazing at that point that she really changed. She did great with our dogs. She loved to play with people. If someone came to visit her, she had to give them a hug. She's our hugger. Hope literally saved Malou's life, while Hope's perseverance saved Brad Pitts. So I went into St. Louis County Animal Control, and when I walked in, there was this extremely handsome boy sitting there. Everybody's barking but him. He's just looking very meek and mild, and I knew he was going to be the one. So I went in, I met him. He was all about attention, wasn't jumpy all over you. He was just a gentleman, so I said, we're taking him. But I did notice when he was in the yard, if a bird flew over, he was just glued. He wouldn't look away from it. You couldn't get his attention. And you kind of think, all right, well, it's a bird. Maybe he hasn't seen too many birds. Um, and then one day he was out and somebody walked by with a little dog. And he went a little direct attention. You couldn't get his attention away from it. And that kind of was like, okay. He went home on a trial. We always do trials before adoption so they can see how the dog's gonna react in their home. In the first home, he was just a little too energetic for their senior dog, which is not a problem. He came back to us, and a few weeks later after that, he went to another home for a trial where they didn't have any children or other dogs, and we thought this would really be good for him. But about three weeks after they did adopt him, um, they called and said that he had gotten into a fight with the dog next door and that he had, they had sent him to animal control. Uh, Jackie and I immediately got on the phone and started calling our contacts with the animal control to secure his safety for the evening until we could get to him the next day. I started doing one-on-ones with him. So 
Out in the country, we have a lot of little wild birds flying over. And over time, we were able to get him to stop staring at the birds and more worry about where the hot dogs were coming from. So after, it was little, um, over two and a half years of working with him, we had a gentleman come in and we went through all of the issues and the things that we had taught him and the gentleman took him home and he was adopted and he has been adopted now. And the gentleman takes walks so it's not that Brad Pitt isn't getting out. They go on walks and he knows how to control those things. A prey drive is an instinct. Some dogs are born with a bigger instinct than others. You can't remove it, but you can help control it. And that was what we hoped to do for Brad Pitt. Not only does hope change the lives of dogs, hope also impacts the communities where the dogs of hope live. Meet Leah Mia, Roscoe and Memphis, a superhero trio all adopted from Hope Rescues. Leah Mia was first to be adopted by the Schultz family. It didn't take them long to realize there was something special about her. Leah Mia has a precious soul that is able to capture the heart of everyone she meets. Her gentleness and good behavior leaves everyone asking if they can take her home with them. Danielle and her husband Steve are longtime advocates of rescue and adoption, but didn't want to stop there. They wanted to make a bigger impact, reach more people, and educate the masses along the way. And they wanted their dogs to be a part of the process. Leah Mia and her brother, Roscoe P. Coltrane, are both ambassador dogs for Safe Humane Chicago. Safe Humane Chicago is an organization whose mission is to inspire positive relationships between people and animals. Leah Mia and Roscoe, as ambassadors, participate in animal safety education events at underserved elementary schools and make frequent appearances at community events. This past January, Leah Mia also received her prestigious Canine Good Citizen certification by passing a difficult 10-step test. In 2015, the Schultz family adopted their third dog from Hope Rescues, Memphis, a sweet boy who is deaf. Danielle describes Memphis by saying, Our quirky deaf boy is a special one. Memphis is often described as handsome and adorable by the people he meets. His calm demeanor draws people to him. Memphis moves at his own pace, slow and plodding, and leaves people smiling well after he has left the room. Once Memphis had settled into his forever home, he was ready to go to work with his brother and sister. All three currently volunteer with Lexington Home Healthcare, where they visit with nursing home residents and hospice patients. In fact, Roscoe is somewhat of a resident celebrity. Roscoe has a gift of knowing when people aren't physically or emotionally in a good place and will either do something completely silly to make everyone laugh or be a rock solid, gentle, and loving companion to lift their spirits. After seeing how loved these three dogs are, it's hard to imagine their lives were once in danger. Had it not been for Hope Rescues, these three would not be able to spread the joy, love, and compassion to all the people they come in contact with. Malou would not know the love of a stranger and have a second chance at a forever home, and Brad Pitt wouldn't be able to coexist with other companion animals. Hope has literally changed everything for these three dogs and countless more. As you can see, Hope makes a difference in the lives of dogs and for the communities where the dogs of Hope live. Please join us in our mission to spread more hope. After all, hope changes everything.